ready to mix up. Hi everyone, Sharon here, Ageless Restyling. Thank you for joining me today in my kitchen. <laughs> I just finished my workout. If you've not seen the video, I uploaded a short just showing my very, um, my kind of cool down type of workout today. I went really, really hard yesterday, so I had to take it easy on my muscles today. So it's just more or less more of a, a stretch thing. So when I finished my workout, I was getting ready to go take my shower, and I realized that I was out of my body stuff. Um, but I like to lather on my body after I take my shower. And I was going to make a batch uh, because I like to put it on right when I come out the shower when my skin is still, when my um, cuticle is still, did I say cuticle? Sorry. I'm thinking of nails. <laughs> when my pores are still open from um, a warm shower, not a hot shower, a warm shower. And I like to just put it all over my body when my skin is still damp. I never just dry myself off with a towel. I come out the shower and I put a terry robe on and then I lather up myself with my concoction that I make. So I decided I'm going to share with you what I use on my body from my neck down. I have been doing this for years, years, years. It really, really worked. And what made me realize that what I was doing really worked for me I went thrifting one day, one summer, and I had on like a off the shoulder type of dress. And the girl came up to me, the young lady that worked in Goodwills came up to me and she said, what do you use on your skin? And I said, excuse me? She said, what are you using on your skin? Your skin is beautiful. And I told her, I said, I use oil, I'm an oil baby, I'm essential oil, carrier oil. I don't use lotion. I do not use lotion. On my skin at all every it, I just use my concoction that I make up and I said you know I'm an essential carrier oil type of girl and she said whatever you're doing keep doing it because your skin look great and we'll come up close and show you guys my skin I'll be 62 later this year praise the Lord thank God by his grace and you know I, I, don't, I, I think my skin look good, you know, considering my age. So let's get to going. Let me show you what I use and how I make it. So before we proceed, if you're watching me and not yet subscribing, and you know, um, please consider subscribing. I would really love and appreciate your support. And I want to thank my supporters for rocking with me and for just showing me all the love that you guys have. I really, really appreciate you guys. Remember, before you exit, the thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up comment and share so let's get started so i have all my stuff <laughs> in my i keep all my oils <laughs> in my basket so that when i'm ready to make my body portion i call my body po not portion ocean ocean not, not pro oh potion y'all yeah, excuse me you know i'm from the island so sometimes i gonna mess up the word i so good i just so good so just please excuse me. Anyhow, let me continue. All right then. So <laughs> let me come back so I can talk and so y'all understand me. You know, I, I did my research on all my oils, um, the anti-aging benefits of oil, all what the oil does. I kind of keep them in my basket. And then I have a little book that I have with the different type of oils and the different type of things I need to make up for my oils. And essentially what the, the oil does. So when I find um, an oil that works for my skin, I notate it, notate what it does and what I mix it, what I can mix it with. So this is my, 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 my I keep saying Porsche, potion book that I have here. So the first thing that we're going to do today, the first thing we're going to do is make my um, body butter. And I keep my body butter in this container. <clears throat> I'm almost out. So I start with my body butter first, and then I'm gonna make my body oil afterwards. Because some of the, um, I kinda of use like the leftover from the body butter to go into body oil. So we start off with my body butter. Get my stuff out of here. With my shea butter. And I ordered, this when it first came, 
it was this this bag was filled to the brim and as you can see i'm almost out i'm gonna have to make another order pretty soon and i ordered this did this come from um amazon or by the cost i think i ordered i got this shea butter from amazon so it comes like oh comes like this <laughs> and so i cut we get a knife I cut some of the shea butter and if you can see here it says the um, African shea butter and yeah I did get this from Amazon and I cut a very substantial piece of it like this and we all know the moisturizing benefit of shea butter and I put that in this little my little blender and I have my my um, magic bullet and I only use I use these only for my body and face products that I make up in the kitchen I don't use them for anything else their purpose is only for my body products okay so after I put that shea butter is like oh my gosh I love it it's so moisturizing after I put the shea butter in there, then I put some vegetable glycerin in, because we all know that glycerin, again, is, is moisturizing. So I add my vegetable glycerin, and this is where the fun comes in here. So then I start to add my essential oils. And so that I don't forget, so I can read off some of the benefits of the essential oil. So let's see now. Um, neroli. So first we're going to add about 10 drops of neroli. Y'all know, excuse me for a moment. Let me run and get my glasses. I don't know why I think I could read without my glasses. This is not, this is just a little reading glasses I keep down here. All right. My spectacles. <laughs> oh, they're kind of dirty. But anyhow, all right. Where's the neroli? Where was I? What did I do with it? I stick it. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> the neroli oil and neroli. Let's see. Yeah, neroli oil. Um, it boosts luminosity. It promotes natural, healthy glow. It naturally regenerates the skin and help reduce scar, scars, lines, and wrinkles. So, you know I love this neroli. It reduces lines, it reduces wrinkles and scars. If you remember when I talked to you when I did my skincare, I have keloid skin, and I scar very, very easily. So anything that will help reduce scars, I'm going to use because of my keloid skin. So first thing I do is I drop I might have to order some more. I think I'm low on my neroli. Let's see. Yeah, I'm low. Okay. I'm going to have to reorder. Just pour a little bit in here because I'm going to need to save some for the, um, for my body oil. When I make the, the body oil portion. Okay, so that's my neroli that I put in. And I also add in, let me find it. Okay, geranium. I love this. Look, let's see. Geranium. So, and geranium, let me see the benefits of geranium. Okay, geranium is an antioxidant, oxidant, antioxidant, anti inflammatory, helps skin stay conditioned, soothe, irritate a broken skin. So geranium is a skin conditioner. So I usually just just a couple drops, maybe I count maybe twenty of geranium. I am never without geranium. I love geranium for my skin. I tried when I was trying to figure out what worked on my face and what didn't, and because of the benefit of geranium. I tried to use geranium on my face. The strange thing is the geranium did not work on my on my face. It broke me out. 
So it doesn't work on my face, but it works on my body. So I use it on my body. But I can't put it in any of my face items. And it's sad because it's, it's such a wonderful product. Okay. Then I add lemon. And I add some lemon essential oil because lemon is brightening. So lemon is a brightener, so it helps even out the skin tone. And he said, yeah, and essentially lemon clears the skin and brightens the skin. Yeah. Alrighty. So then we go to, oh, ca my caca. I always, <laughs> I call it, it's caca, but I call it the, 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 the caca oil. And caca, let me read what it says about that. Yeah. Now, caca oil is anti-aging, anti-wrinkle, improves skin tone, and soften skin. So again, this oil is amazing on skin. So drop some of that in here. Do you see we have a theme going on here? If it's anti-aging, it works. And I, you know, myrrh, I add myrrh and myrrh Myrrh helps reduce um, chemicals that causes inflammation on the body. Oh, this is tightened. Okay. I can't open it. Oh. How in the world did I talk? Oh, shoot. It's okay. The bottle is empty. I think I kept the bottle, the empty bottle, to remind me to reorder, and I didn't. So I'm going to have to put it out there so I can remember. So this one will not have myrrh in there today because I ran out of it. Frankincense. Frank, I absolutely love frankincense. And frankincense, let's see, what did I write down here? Frankincense is anti-agent astringent, helps protect the skin cells, improve skin tone, elasticity, and lift skin. So anything that will lift the skin so it won't sag, I wonder if it works for your breast. Anyhow, that's another subject. <laughs> to help lift the skin to, from sagging. If that's your issue, if that's you want to prevent, frankincense. So add my frankincense. And then, I think, do I want to add, let's see. Um, Yes, I need my rose hip oil. Okay. Rose hip oil. So, rose hip oil is acne fighting, calms the skin, moisturizing, and it treats wrinkles. So, and ro rose hip oil is a carrier oil. The, all the other oils that I used previously were essential oils. So squirt some of my rose hip in there. And lavender. Another one of my favorite, my lavender oil. And lavender, let's see, what does it, lavender, lavender is the best oil of all. It's best for wrinkles, health, food, stress, calming, and sleep. So put some lavender oil in there. And now we're getting ready to mix up my body butter. So this is my body butter that I'm making up. Excuse the noise. I mix it up. Oops, it'll help if I plug it in. Did not plug in the outlet. consistency Ooh. see if it gives me that whipness that I want yeah here we go and this is my body butter whoop and this thing is amazing on my skin oh I love it this is what I use on my skin. 
from my neck down, I do not use lotion at all. This is what I use. Okay, so that's my body butter. It's a little bit more liquefied than I normally do, but it's okay. Oh, all right. So now I'm gonna make my body oil. So whatever is left over from my body butter mixture, I pour that in this one. And I scrape out as much as possible, because this is some good stuff. I even, like since after I'm finished making this, I'm gonna go take a shower, I take this upstairs and I make sure I clean it out and put it on my skin. I, whoops, I don't waste any of it. This is too good to waste. So I will take this upstairs with me. After I take my shower, clean, take the rest of it out and on my body goes. Okay, so now I'm making my full body oil. I add to that, to this, oops, my coconut oil, and I use organic um, virgin coconut oil, the unprocessed coconut oil. This is a new container. And I pour some my coconut oil in there. And I add to that avocado oil. Avocado oil is a carrier oil, and avocado oil is good for mature skin because it's extremely moisturizing. So I add my avocado oil. And I add my sweet almond oil. Of course, my glycerin, my vegetable glycerin. skin moisturizer <laughs> so I'm never without my aloe aloe is a natural skin moisturizer it also helps with scarring uh, did you see a theme going here because of my keloid skin anything that helps with scarring I'm all for it and, and aloe help reduce scarring okay so now I also add I need to add some more because I've increased the quantity my lavender my kake oil lemon and in this one i'm going to put a generous amount of lemon as a matter of fact i'm going to use all of the lemon that i have left do i have another bottle of lemon have i used all of my lemon <laughs> okay so i am going to have to order some more lemon oil, lemon essential oil, because I've just used all of that. And uh, my geranium oil. My Norelli oil. Yeah, and I've finished that up. So I'm gonna, have, there's three oils that I have to replace. You can tell I use my use this. <laughs> and my frankincense. And let's see, do I want to add anything else here? 
Okay, I'm gonna add some marula oil, and I didn't, I don't think we talked about the marula oil here. Let's see, do I have anything on the marula oil? Um, yes, marula oil is anti-aging, um, hydrating, and it's an antioxidant. So another very, very, very good oil. I'm gonna add some marula oil to this. And my carrier oils, because whenever you, these are, when you ever, oops, look at that. I just wasted some of my, my pants. Whenever you're using essential oil, you have to make sure you mix it with a carrier oil. And my carrier oil of preference is my avocado oil, grapeseed oil, and sweet almond oil. Now, grapeseed or grapeseed carrier oil is a dry oil, it's a drying oil. So grapeseed carrier oil is a good oil if you have oily skin. I don't have oily skin. I have combination skin. I used to have oily skin, so I just like to keep um, the grapeseed oil. Okay, um, let's see, did I add everything? Now in this one, I like to add something else. And I have talked about vitamin C before when it came to my face, my wood vitamin C powder. And so this is the vitamin C powder. And I like to add it. And I ordered this from Amazon. This is my vitamin C powder. And I like to add it to my mixture. We all know the benefits of vitamin C. Okay, so now that I've added that, okay, what am I doing here? Let's, okay, Sean, what are you doing? Okay. What is going on? Oh my. I have not tightened it yet. I don't want any to fall out. There we go. All right. Mix this one up. And then 
I'm all oiled up. My body oil. So this is what I, when I come out the shower, I use this all over my body with my body butter. And of course, I make nothing go to waste. I can say I'm getting ready to take a shower, so I'm gonna take this upstairs to dig in it <laughs> and get as much out of it before I bring it back downstairs and put it in the dishwasher. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this interesting. Um, I decided to share this because when I did my face video, you guys, some of you noticed that I didn't bring the, the items that I used on my face down to my neck on my decolletage. And that is because when I come out the shower, trust and believe my neck and my decolletage, my whole body is very, very well taken care of with all the anti-aging products. And not for, as far as I'm concerned, nothing is better than essential oils when it comes to anti-aging. I, I believe in it, I trust in it, and for me personally, it works. I think what you have to be careful about is uh, with, with essential oil is to test it to make to see how it will work on your particular skin and that's what I did like I said the geranium I can't use the geranium on my face but it works great on my body and my body doesn't react to it but my face did and you know because I was like thank goodness my body work it works my body because geranium has all of that anti-aging benefits you know the frankincense the caca oil amazing 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 anti-aging benefits so thank you for joining me today now remember if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing most of the time i focus on fashion you know what fashion not shopping for the rest of the year but i have decided i'm just going to share my life with you guys whatever i feel like doing i don't know what this channel is going to be primarily about let's just call it life <laughs> Sharon just gonna be sharing her life and whatever else she can think of and also whatever whatever else you may ask me to share or or show I'm willing to do that so subscribe to my subscribers thank you thank you thank you greatly appreciate thumbs up comment and share and until the next time this is Sharon saying find a reason to smile no matter in the midst of the storm there's always a reason to smile so turn those lemons into lemonade and smile and until next time bye bye <laughs>